today we are going to be looking at logarithm with table. Now, logarithm table is actually useful when you don't have calculator. So today I'm going to be showing us how to solve operations, mathematical operation, without using a calculator. For example, you can see we have something on the board. It says evaluate. 34.54 multiplied by 58.582.1. Uh, We're expected to solve this. So if you want to solve this where you don't have a calculator and you're having a four-figure table, it's very simple. The first thing you do is to divide your note like this, number log. The numbers you are dealing with, which is this and this, will be on this side. Why the logarithm of this number will be on the other side. So, but before you do that, you need to know that every number, every log number has two parts. We have the characteristic part and the mantissa. The characteristic part is determined by knowing the standard form of this number. For example, if I want to know the standard form of this number, I will have to write it. 34.51. Changes, changing this number to standard form will mean 33.451 times 10 raised to power. You have moved the point 0.1, so times 10 raised to power 1. Now, because the power here is 1, meaning the characteristics of this number should be what? 1. So you need to know that. Then the same thing with this. This one is 582.1. You move this point to the first number. The number of times you move it determines the characteristic. So in this case, this one will be 5 points. I move this one to 5.821 times 10 raised to power what 2. Because you have moved it twice. So you know that what the characteristics of this number is 2. Why the other one is what? One. You keep this aside because you will need it. Now, you first thing you do is to write out this number. So, writing out this one will be 34.51. Then the other one is 582.1. So, like I said, in getting the log number, you need to know the characteristics and the mantissa. We have determined the characteristics. That's the first part you, you need to write. So in the case of this one, the characteristics is one. You come here and put one, then you put points. Characteristics of this one is what? Two. Come here and put two, then you put points. Then you go to your four figure table. Go to your four figure table. You look for these numbers, dividing it into two, that is, this one is one part of the number, then this one you separate them. So first thing you do is to go to your logarithm table. You see a column of x when you have numbers like this. So the first two number, you call it as one, as 34. So you go column, you go to column x, you look for 34. Then the other number that uh, follows it is 5. Under 5, that's the other side of the uh, table, you see 5 there. If you look for 34 under 5, you will have you will have 5378 as 0.5378. That's what you have. Then if you check, then the difference, this other number means the difference. Then you go to the next part of the table because the table is divided into three parts. The first part, which is column S, the other part where you have numbers. You can look for like this. Then the last part, which is the difference table, that's where this one will fall under. So the first part gave us the first part in combination of this one gave us this. Then the difference column will give you another value. In this case, if you are looking for this number, the difference is one. It is not just one, it is 0 0.0001. So you add it to it 0 0.0001. You add it to it. If you add it, this one will be 9, this one will be 7, this one will be 3, this one will be 5, this one will be what? 0. So eventually, this is the number you have gotten. You bring it here. So this one will now be 
So I'm done with the log number of this. You move to the other one. The same thing, you share this one first as one, call it one. Then you look for it under this, the difference is also one. So in the case of this one, you go to 58 under 2. If you go to 58 under 2, you have a value which is 7649. Then lastly, you go to the difference. The difference is also 1. Meaning you need to add it to this. If you add it to this, it becomes 0, 1, this one will be 5, this one will be 6, take note here is 0, and this one will be what? 7.0. Then you add it to this one. You add it to this one, eventually you will have 7650. You draw a line like you are seeing it now. Now, because they are multiplying, you add. If they are dividing, if the, not, if the sign here is divided, you subtract. That was basic in uh, logarithm. So we are going to add, you put your addition sign. 9 plus 0 is what? Zero, uh, 9. 7 plus 5 is what? 12. So what do you do? Put 2 and carry 1. 3 plus 6 is what? 10. And 9 plus 1, 10. So you put 0 and carry 1. 5 plus 7 is what? 12 plus 1, 13. So you put 3 and carry 1. Then you put your point here. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So you have 4. So this is the number you have. Now you have to bring back this number. This one is the log number. You have gotten your answer in the log form, but you have to bring it back to the numbers. So, how do you bring it back? You you go to the next part of the table. We have the logarithm table and the antilogarithm. The antilogarithm table is the table that reverses it back from the log form to the normal number, the natural number. So, what you need to do is to understand this number first. Now, this four here, like I said. A log number has two parts, the Cartesian parts and the Mantissa or the decimal fraction. This four here is telling you that the number you will see as your answer will have five digits. That's what it means. The number will have five digits. Then this other number is the number that will determine the exact value. So you go to the anti log table, you look for 30 under 2 difference 9. If you look for 30 under 2 difference 9, you are going to have you are going to have 2004. 30 under 2. That's what it will give you. Then difference 9. If you go to the difference color, is 4. So you add 4 to it as plus 4. It will now be 8, 0, 0, 2. Now, like I said, this 4 here is telling me that I'm having a 5 digit. If you count the number here, there are 4, meaning it's not complete. So in order to complete it, I need to add 0 to it. So eventually, you add your 0. This automatically becomes the answer. 20,080. Now, meanwhile, in using a four-figure table or a logarithm table, you can only see the answer to four digits. Are you getting me? So it's accurate to three significant figure. So if you press your calculator, your calculator may not give you this kind of answer. But it will give you an approximate, an answer that is close to this one. Are you getting me? And so that's what you get. So this is that answer when you are using your what? Your four-figure table. So, if you like this video, please ensure that you subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for your time. God bless you.